Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen, Structure Studios 101, Pool Studio Blue. Today we are going to be putting together a Dutch gable roof. Basically, it's this here. It's a Dutch gable. It's uh, going to have a gable on top and a hip around um, as uh, an extension, a visor, and something of that nature. But Dutch gable, very common roof. Uh, you're going to see it a lot. You're going to come across it a lot. Um, in your house modeling, you're going to see this a lot. It's very simple to do in Structure Studios in the house stage. So let's get started here. We're going to just draw like a generic um, house. And we're going to make some notches so you can kind of see some different methods on, um, on how this is going to come together. So Dutch gable roof in the house stage. I have my line snaps on, I use a relative angle with the L shortcut key, and I toggle that on and off with my K shortcut key. And here we're drawing the walls of our generic house, and we're going to add this Dutch gable to, uh, let's do a back porch here. So we're going to come around, we're going to do like a seven foot back porch we're notching our walls again we're always going to separate our walls from our roof let's check our snaps make sure that our grid is on right now it's pointing line we're going to turn our grid on snap it in place and now we're good to go i use a one inch grid which leaves very little room for error and here are our walls uh, let's change some material let's put some stucco on here Just use like a smooth stucco and brighten it up a little bit. There we go. And we're going to go back to the house tab. And here are our walls. Let's drop this down to a nine feet. And here we go. So let's add our roof to this. So if you notice that it'll, the roof will follow the walls. So this is why you always separate your roof lines from your walls. So the outline tool, we're going to grab this corner here. We're just going to start going around. I'm going to click off to span this gap here because I want to my roof to be square on the top. So click. I'm going to go up to this section. Click. Follow this over. Click. The outline tool. I'm going to follow this around. Click on this and then connect to that to make our solid roof piece that is going to cover our front door and our porch. And there we go. Let's drop this pitch down. Yeah, that's good right there. We're going to make this a gable here. There we go. We're going to add one inch to get our walls. There we are. There we go. So this is our Dutch gable section here that we're going to be working with. So we're going to do something like this right here. I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can do this. Um, again, it always depends on your application, what you're actually going to be doing, what the house actually looks like, what the plans look like, etc., etc. Uh, but for this one, it, it's just a method. So the method is what we're looking for here. How you actually do it, you know, how you outline, how you use your snaps, how you touch your fascia boards, uh, make sure everything is nice and seamless. So here is our Dutch gable section, and as you see it's done, we're going to turn this into a gable there, and bang. Dutch gable complete. Always remember that this is one big box puzzle. You, these semi-complex and complex roof lines are going to have... I've, I've done roof lines with 15, 16, 20 pieces. Um, 25 pieces for some. I mean, they're just massive, complex, cut-up roof lines. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's just a puzzle, and it's, but it's how the pieces of the puzzle come together. If you're not using your grid snap, you're going to see the lines. You're going to see all sorts of things um, you know, where your geometry is not stacked. It's overlapped. You know, it's all crossed up. 
and you know it's just not going to look good. You're going to always see it. But if you want it to be seamless, use your grid snaps. It's going to speed up your workflow, and it's going to make your complex and semi-complex roof and your just basic or standard regular roof lines much cleaner, much more presentable. This one right here, you'll see, especially since I have this uh, R-panel roof. That line that you see up here on the roof line is just where the materials don't match up. So you'd have to go into the uh, the material stage, use your move tool, and and move that into place. So that's how you would do that. Um, there are some other videos, uh, the house videos that that I do that on. Uh, this one right here, we're just going to focus on the actual Dutch gable portion itself. So now we're just going to do a Dutch gable visor, just a little section of hip roof. Um, that's actually more common than the Dutch gable. So we're going to put this on the outside edge of our wall. Again, this is why your snaps are important, so you can just count the grid and be done with it. And then we're just going to add a piece of roof on the inside here. And I'll show you a, a couple of different things here. Uh, this one we're going to do on the inside. I'll show you uh, what you're going to be seeing and then we'll move it to the outside here and I'll show you that. So here's this section here. So this is the inside of the wall. We're on the inside. And as you see, you see the z fighting the flickering um, because the geometry is actually stacked. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this to the outside and then we'll just have to extend our walls for this house section six inches on either side to match the fascias and then we're done. So there's our roof line here. See this section here? All we gotta do is just touch our faces. We want those lines to match. There we go. Got emails coming in here. And here we are. Here's this. And now we are done. And if you need to adjust your material, you can adjust your material. Um, so there it is, just a uh, standard um, Dutch gable or you know, visor or just a you know just a filler piece basically a shingle or whatever it may be um, but very simple like I said it's a box puzzle there's gonna be a lot of different pieces a lot of different things come together but it's how it comes together that is the most important part it's very simple to do it's very simple to build these pieces and put them in place but if you want it to be clean if you want it to be you know, nice and tight. You want your models to be nice and tight. Grid snap is the only way that you're going to achieve that. So this is it. Dutch gable roof um, and a filler piece. So if you guys have any questions, post up. Very simple, very simple. And as always, guys, always be creative. See you on the next one.